What is up YouTube and welcome to this Flash video. So we've got some very, very interesting things that are happening on The Flash. So they're currently filming Season 3, Episode 23, which is one of the final episodes. There is it for The Flash, but I find it very sad when we get to this point in Seasons where they are filming the finales and also the final episodes of the shows because I realised that, well, that's it for this year until, well, it comes back in the autumn or the fall if you're in America. So if you're new to the channel, please drop a like. Please just subscribe as well as clicking that bell button on the notifications. So we've got some very, very big things that are happening on the show, of course. We've got the mystery of Savitar. In a few weeks, Barry will actually be going to the future. But this will contain some spoilers for the finale. So if you want to go in virginized into the finale of the final few episodes, then by all means, I am happy for you to click off. But please do leave a like on your way out, of course. But let's dive in because they're, as always, the very, very, very good North Hollywood Buzz have provided us with some very, very interesting behind the scenes pictures, which have given us all manner of speculation as to what is going to happen. So there will be heavy spoilers, so you have been warned. Now, interestingly, the finale does have a huge, huge funeral. Now, of course, one will fall was the promise of Savitar, he promised that one will fall, one will be changed, and one will betray them. So one will or suffer a worse fate worse than death even there. So what does that mean? Well we haven't really had much of the prophecies. I think it's been a bit weak on the execution of just what these prophecies are, sadly. Now we thought that the person who would fall would be Iris West, and you would be forgiven for thinking that, considering the big reveal at the end of the first half of this season, where we were revealed that Iris West will actually die in the future. And, well, that's what the latter half of this season has actually been about. It's been about Barry trying to change the future, of course, which is... Well, what he loves doing, he absolutely loves fucking time up. But the whole thing here behind the scenes is, like I said, very intriguing. So behind the scenes, we have pictures of the whole of the cast at the funeral. And what is even weirder is that we have got Caitlin as Killer Frost, again, in funeral gear. So... What I'm thinking here is, and it's a theory which I've thought at the back of my mind for some time, is that, well, they are going to have Killer Frost, but she will actually find a way to overcome that evil Killer Frost part of her mind and use her powers for good, which is weird to say the least, but it's quite similar to what is going on in the comics as she's sort of part of the Justice League of America and was part of the Suicide Squad. So there is a redeeming feature there, and they're writing that in the comics, and it would make sense if they follow that on the show as well, and would really work, as we've got someone else on the show. But she would also have another very good fit in the rogues, if they do the rogues in season four. But I think that going by the fact that she's at the funeral in funeral gear, well, it makes a lot of sense that she is really actually teaming with the group and isn't evil. Now, what is interesting is, who is at this funeral? Now, everyone is actually there. Now, the only person who I haven't seen from these photos who is explicitly at the funeral is Joe West, because, well, going by that, it looks like he's not actually at the funeral. Everyone else is. Even, of course, Jay Garrick is involved in the funeral. You can see him in the pictures in the background. But we've never actually seen the whole casket. There are people who have seen it, but they're keeping it hush, hush. So, as always with these kind of things, I will take it with a pinch of salt as to who is actually being revealed 
inside the casket. But going by this, I think it is more than likely going to be Joe West. Going by what the pictures look like at the moment. Could be HR. I've seen people say that as well. But there's another thing which is very interesting as well. So there is actually a video of the it's very weird scene being filmed where a lot of light is going on the cast. The whole of the cast are actually there in their funeral outfits. And we see Barry kiss Iris and then go towards the light. And he is with his mother. So that is really weird there, I think, that he's going towards Nora Allen saying goodbye to everyone and what looks like he's actually going to the Speed Force or is he going towards some kind of weird heaven thing to be with his mother forever? Now, that is really weird and I think that we can't really get to a conclusion just yet as to what is happening on this show, but... There is definitely a funeral. One of these people will fall as promised by Savitar. And a few people are saying that it could actually be Barry's funeral. But he's up and about wearing the funeral gear. So I don't think it's going to be him in the casket at all. Now they could throw a swerve ball and have the easy way out. And have Caitlyn technically be in there and it looked like Caitlyn's dead. And then we actually have her as Killer Frost, which I don't think is going to happen. But it's one thing which they possibly could actually do to kind of have a huge swerve there. But whoever is in the casket will be the person who has been revealed as the person who will fall. And it does really look like Iris West is going to survive and be saved. And I think that going by that speed force thing, that weird light that is happening, and we've got him walking towards and leaving with his mother, well, it does look like he's going to sacrifice himself to save Iris West, of course, and he's playing the eternal good guy. And unfortunately, I think if they're going to go this way, it's going to be a complete cop-out, sadly. And I really hope it is not a cop-out, but you know what? I have been learnt as a huge wrestling fan that, well, don't always expect a good thing because a good thing may never happen, sadly. So that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.